Heidi, hi, and hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so here I am. It's been a while, hasn't it? About a few weeks, I think, yes. Right, this is just a nice little video that I decided to do today because, ladies and gentlemen, right, today I met an awesome man, an awesome gentleman, a true talent, a true comic talent, by the way, uh, Mr. Steve Howard. You might remember him. He was the guy that drew the uh, lovely Superman picture with me and uh, Christopher Reeve that I've often shown on my wall and he's also the guy that won the uh, tattoo competition that's going on my back with his epically awesome tattoo design if you haven't seen it check the video before this one I think it's the last one that I did have a look at that um, for a prize he got a copy a signed copy of um, the hardcover of Justice written by um, Jim Kruger with artwork done by both Alex Ross and also Doug Braithwaite as well. Um, signed by Doug himself. So he's uh, he's received that today. We met him in town. Um, we both decided to meet at um, our local comic book shop, Travelling Man in Newcastle. Thank you very much, guys. And um, I have to say, he's, uh, he's very much like Adam Hughes. He does look like Adam Hughes. I actually said that. I turned around to uh, Michael, who works at Travelling Man. I said, do you not think he looks a bit like Adam Hughes? And he went... I don't actually know what Adam Hughes looks like. I was like, oh my God, you have got to look him up. Um, he's quite an attractive young man. <laughs> and um, he looked him up and he went, she, yeah, you do look similar. You, you just you just have different hair color. I went, see, told you. So uh, Mr. Howard and Mr. Hughes share a bit of a, 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 a gene in there. That might explain the comic book talents as well. And speaking of comic book talents, we, we met up in town, as I say, and uh, we bought our comics which I'll show you what I've bought later on and we had a proper geek chat it was amazing I've never had I can't remember the last time I actually spoke to someone who was on the same level of interest as me where we just had a full-on chat about everything and anything to do with comic books superhero movies um, characters comic book artists writers all of that sort of stuff we just went on and on we spoke about Man of Steel Thor all the Marvel movies that have been out so far what Marvel are planning to do in what DC are doing so far what DC and Warner Brothers are hoping to do as I say we spoke about the DC relaunch as well computer games we even mentioned the likes of Arkham City and Arkham Asylum um, it was just brilliant it was you could have put us into a room and it would have just sparked with pure geek electricity. That's how brilliant the conversation was between a pair of us. And, um, you know, um, Mr. Howard actually works for a company called Accent Comics. Um, they're a UK-based uh, comic book publisher. And um, I've seen some of the work that he has done for them and they are very spectacular. So um, here's hoping that um, he goes on to bigger and better things um, from here on. Um, but uh, he, as I said, he did my picture for me a few months ago and um, he actually brought in his portfolio which contained a lot of original artwork that he has done and um, a couple of really tasty characters in there as well which are really amazing um, and um, he also showed me the drawing that he did for Cayman Stowell who's another friend of mine all the way from Minnesota and um, it, it was the original artwork, the, the original penciled out print and also the uh, like inked print as well. And then he brought mine along. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, look at that. The original copies are here. This is amazing. This is fantastic. And he turned around and said, you can take one. And I was like, what? He went, honestly, take whichever one you want. Choose out of those two. Pick whichever one you want. And I said, I can't take one of those. You've already given me a fully covered, coloured one. I don't need one of them. He went, no, 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 seriously, you have no idea. I want you to take one. I was like, okay then. So here's the one that I've chosen. There it is. This is the original like, print from Mr. Steve Howard himself. Okay. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. As I say, the other version was just all penciled um, with, with a few sort of, you know, inks all over the place but as I say it was all penciled out and this was the uh, second part and then obviously as I say the finishing touches is up there as well but so I'm definitely going to frame this we did actually sort of hunt around for a frame afterwards but couldn't find one so I'm going to have a hunt around this weekend see what I can find but um, look at that people that is just awesome the man that is Steve Howard okay that that's what I'm talking about and um he actually told me how he got into got well he's always been a comic book fan 
But uh, what got him back into comics was um, Hush, Batman Hush, um, drawn by Jim Lee. And if you've read the, the comic book, which I have finally, fantastic, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I think it's because of Jim Lee's art as well was what brought him back to, to the comic genre. And as I say, his artwork is amazing. You know, as I say, you look at all, all the artists that we've had over the years, and you just you just wonder you know we need something new and fresh and when i look at um when i look at steve's steve's work i just think why can't we have someone someone like that on board you know it would be awesome to have to have someone like that so but like i say top bloke absolutely amazing bloke um gentleman to the core and a true geek a true true geek and um one little tidbit about mr howard by the way um, he was actually present during the filming of Superman 4 yes when they were filming here in the UK down in Milton Keynes he was present he was only about six or seven at the time and he spotted Christopher Reeve in a robe with the Superman costume underneath so there's a nice little interesting fact about Mr. Steve Howard there for you so next time you're at the pub and someone mentions Do you know about this guy called Steve Howard oh yes here's an interesting <laughs> fact about him there you go job done Mr. Howard You'll be famous before you know it, don't worry. <laughs> right then, so as I say, I'll be finding a frame for that later on. Um, so just quickly, as I say, I did go to the comic shop, uh, Travelling Man, and here's what we purchased. We have gotten Flash, number two. Um, we also have Aquaman, number two. And also Superman, number two. Okay, so I'll be looking forward to those soon. Um, then I noticed that they were doing a secret origin of Legion as in the Legion of Superheroes and I thought to myself I love the Legion of Superheroes I love them so much they are an amazing bunch of characters so diverse and it's just fantastic that how they were inspired by Superman you know his legend and everything that he stood for is the reason why the Legion exists and here's the first issue so there's that whilst buying this I was given something even more spectacularly awesome than the comic book itself POW long live the legion children okay there we go i now sport a legion ring you should be jealous because you should be you want to be jealous i know i would be if someone threw this in my face it's all complete now my life is complete i am now part of the legion epic um it's only in training mode so i can't fly um i've yet to master the whole time travel thing yet um i haven't picked a time to go forward or go back to but i'll let you know should anything decide to happen um, so that's 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 amazing I've got a lot more rings by the way see see all that lot there okay all the lantern rings and then either side of them are two flash rings as well so quite a lot of rings are uh, collecting as we speak so eventually I'm gonna need to find some sort of storage cabinet to put all these babies into you know collection is grown it's growing lovely so Thank you very much for watching. As I say, this was just a quick update video of what's been happening. I did go and see Tintin last night, by the way, in IMAX 3D. Beautiful. Loved it. Fantastic. Funny. Awesome. If you love the cartoons, you will love the film. And there is going to be a sequel as well. So, fantastic. Looking forward to that. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And again, awesomely good good time meeting Mr. Howard. And surely we'll be, uh, we'll be having some more meetups pretty soon. Okay, that's it from me. Goodbye.